it's Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to repot this discount phalaenopsis. I got it for $5.99 at Hauserman Orchids. It was already in bloom and had two spikes which were cut off, so it likely won't bloom until next year for me, which is why it was so cheap. But I bought this orchid because I want to experiment with semi-hydroponic um, growing methods with LECA in a self-watering pot. So I didn't want to use this system on my orchids that I've had for a long time, my long uh, standing phalaenopsis rather. So I bought this for $6 and we're going to give it a shot. So we, in today's video, we're going to get it out of this traditional medium and we are going to pot it up into that new LECA medium. So this is the phalaenopsis stars Fiona M80. It is a white orchid, white flowers. Um, wow, the root system is quite massive. I'm going to have to cut this out of the pot. Um, it looks like we do have some dead roots in here. We obviously have some aerial roots, which I've soaked for a while. So let me get some scissors and we'll, we'll get started. Okay, I've got my scissors and then we shall see what we're working with. But it looks like just looking at the, these roots, we're working with a very vigorous orchid. Definitely needs a much bigger pot. I've got a six inch pot ready to go for this. Um, let's see what the roots look like. I hate it when they pack them in here so tightly in, in sphagnum moss because this root is dead. It, it's just definitely way too tight. So let's see what we're dealing with. And I have a feeling we're going to be cutting off a lot of roots. Um, you know, I always talk about this um, when I talk about phalaenopsis, but a lot of these are packed so tightly and it's to help these orchids make it through transport. So in general, if you want to keep the health of the orchid long term, you want to make sure that it's packed in a much airier sort of medium. This is pretty much like potting it in soil almost because it is so tight and it's not great for the root system. So over time, it'll suffocate it. It'll be okay for a while, but it is long-term that this really starts to show when the orchid isn't doing well, the roots will die off. Um, the only time this sort of, look, this is a huge chunk of, like if you, this is very tight. Um, if you, you'll know if, how to, if you know how to water it, for instance, by basically having a very light touch like this sort of medium can be watered once a month and it'll be okay because it's so tight but uh, it's it's really tough to work with um tightly packed sphagnum moss you really got to lighten it up i will clear the rest of this out it, it's actually not so bad um i'll clear this out and i'll come back so that we could take a look at the roots all right we're back, and just to give you a sense of how much moss was in that little pot, it's a lot. So all of that was in here, and I didn't even fluff it up. That's way too much moss. So we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to cut off these roots. All right, we're back, and it's not so bad. So there's definitely some dead roots, like right here. This is a papery type root. So I'm going to cut it right before the growth so I don't introduce a new wound. So that's cut. Um, the rest of this is fine. Look, it's branching out with a new root. We'll leave the rest there. Definitely needed a new pot. It was growing around, um, growing around the pot, and I think it'll benefit from a larger setup. Um, six bucks for this orchid, which is such a good deal so I don't mind whatsoever that it doesn't have any flowers because this is going to be very experimental for me in the LECA setup this is dead as you can see it's boom dead so we'll cut that off I will speed up and cut through these roots and then come back okay we are ready to repot and what I've done is I've soaked my LECA in a solution of kelp. So this should help with the rooting. And I'm so sorry for that dog barking outside. Of course, it started barking the minute I started. 
So I put a little bit of this in the LECA and it should help with growing roots. Um, and I usually add a little bit to my nutrient solution to help out. So I've cleaned the roots out. As you can see, the roots on the outside are green and it's because it's been able to photosynthesize in the clear pot. And the ones in the middle are either white or a little brown. And I think the brown staining is due to the old potting medium this was in. A lot of these were aer aerial roots, especially these over here, but I'm going to put them inside of the pot because I found that a lot of the aerial roots uh, for me, they end up drying out and dying. And I have a very humid environment in the summer, but in the winter when it dries out, it's very dry. So I just want to tuck this in. If they don't survive, um, we shall see. So this is an experiment. So that's the whole point of seeing what works and what doesn't. So we're going to start with a self-watering pot with a wick. And I'm going to move the wick all the way up just because Phalaenopsis should have more moisture. This is an experiment. I've never grown Phalaenopsis in this self-watering semi-hydro setup. So we'll see how it goes. But we'll start by adding a layer of Leca. And Leca is very different from the sphagnum moss in that we want the Leca to be very tight and close to each other. And it's impossible for the Leca to compact because they are little spheres and there will be lots of air gaps for air to flow through for the roots. So even though these are tight, this won't suffocate the root system. Okay, we've added a bunch, I've shaken it down and I'm gonna make sure that this wick comes up as I'm potting this orchid. And I'm so sorry for that dog barking outside. It started, of course, the minute I started recording. So we're gonna add this fowl. And it's got a tremendous root system for something that was in like a three inch pot. <laughs> it's um, pretty, pretty big. So I think this will do it. We'll just add the leca around the root system. And this was an aerial root. So I wanna tuck this in here. Go around. We'll see how it does. We'll see if it survives. Um, again, this is experimental. This is a first for me, growing a Phalaenopsis in leca. I'd like to experiment with it. This is a $5.99 orchid. If this works out for me, then I'll move my other orchids into this setup. But for now, I think we're good. So this is the setup right now, and we're gonna start filling in the leca. And I wanna make sure it touches. Let me get you closer to see. This has a lot of roots. I got my wick here. So I'm gonna have to shake it down, make sure that it compacts a little bit. We're gonna be doing a lot of maneuvering to make sure that all of this leca makes it into the um, bottom. It all has to touch. If there is a big gap and the leca doesn't touch each other, this grow system will not work. So we have to be really, really careful with it. I'm just going to shake it down. Yeah, as you can see, it's all sort of going down a little bit, which is great. That's what we want. I'm going to turn it around. Get the leka on the other side as well. Some of these roots are going to be really tough to maneuver in, but that's okay. Trying to be gentle, but it's like, it's a little tough when the roots are a little bit unruly and very, I've soaked them for a long time, but they're not very pliable. I soaked them for about an hour and a half. That dog outside, I don't know if you can hear it on, on the um, recording, but he sounds so sad. Poor owner probably went to the store, left him outside, and the poor dog is freaking out. Okay, so let's shake this up. Leca everywhere. I hope.
hope these roots survive. Again, this is a test. I wanna see how this does. If this is a viable grow method for me in this environment, I'm definitely gonna try this out with more orchids. But we have to experiment first and see what works for us. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that grow with this method and you know, it, it, there's so many factors in success for orchid growing and much of it has to do with your own conditions, your own environment, how often you can water your plants, how often you can fertilize, your availability, so th that's always a factor. Okay. So I've got the majority of the LECA in here. I'm gonna sort shake it out a little bit more, compact it a little more, and I'll come back to finish up. We are all set. So I topped this off with some pebbles to combat the dry top layer that LECA traditionally has. I don't think that's a big problem with Phalaenopsis, but we shall see how this goes. And let me show you how it all looks on the inside. So, we're using a ton of LECA here. It's all touching, which is fantastic. I've got the wick all the way up to the top. And this should help with the moisture distribution. And the pebbles should keep everything inside and we shall see how this grows. So this is, again, this is the Phalaenopsis stars Fiona. This is a white uh, Phalaenopsis. $5.99 at Hauserman Orchids. It was on clearance. It already bloomed for the year. It's got a new leaf growth. Let's see how it does in this grow system and see if this is a viable grow method for my environment. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I'll keep these experiments going and I'll give regular monthly updates as I do my um, monthly reviews on what's going on. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.